Ladies and gentlemen and folks from beyond the binary, welcome to Overdrive Unlimited here from Tampa, Florida. My name is Eric Powers with Power Overdrive Wrestling. I'm sitting up here in the booth with none other than T A W. Good afternoon and welcome to Overdrive Unlimited. I uh, hope you've enjoyed yourselves this week, uh, especially this Monday night with Power Slam. Uh, but that is an, another uh, discussion for another time. If we get ready today for more second round ring royalty and uh, a couple of tag matches I've had my eye on ever since Andy Ventura uh, put them on the card. But one of those tag matches starts quite early. I'm very excited for you to see it. That's right. We are looking today at a tag match uh, between a couple of teams here that have established themselves here on the Overdrive Unlimited brand. Uh, we have seen uh, Jada Marcus and Skylar Bear um, tag team previously. It looks as though they have decided to make that an official thing uh, and have teamed up uh, in an official capacity. Uh, we also have uh, Sister Death and uh, Morgana, who have decided to uh, to, to team up uh, in in a move that surprises no one. I think <laughs> certainly doesn't surprise me. You know, a woman claiming to be Death and a woman claiming to be a demon. You know. Can kind of fit hand in hand. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. as they come down the uh, the ramp there. Intimidating, powerful showing here uh, from these women as they as they enter the ring uh, and await. And their opponent, first from Atlanta, J. A. Marcus. Now, while Jada and Skyler have uh, created an official. Uh, tag team here in Don't Kiss the Bears. Uh, they uh, are still entering uh, independently from one another. Just one wanting to, to show off their own flair. Also, a unique tag team appellation there. Uh, I wholeheartedly approve. 
Jada Marcus and Skyler Bear don't quite make the the team that Morgana and Sister Death do again on paper. But that's why the ring exists. Oh, Morgana started quickly here. Right. Farthest thing from paper, TW, is the ring in there. Um, I'd much rather take a bump <laughs> on paper than on uh, that hard surface in there. Well, there. Drink of the horns of Morgana. Hello there, Alien Lee. Thank you for tuning in. Happy to see you. Tag here. And a tag team maneuver coming. And the back elbow. Looks like Morgana looking for the tag there. But can't quite make it to her corner and sister death. Skullbear <laughs> going for the knees here. Really working over the legs of Morgana, making it to where the only option she has is to crawl. Well, that split axe kick is quite difficult to pull off and you don't have the legs to do so. Kick right there to disorient. Oh. Morgana cutting the bear off. And she came a little, a little short of the mark. Miss had it distracted there for a moment and came of it. As both women miss a spinning maneuver. Ooh. That uh, forearm did not fail to connect the second time. Looks like. Off the turnbuckle in the corner, and Morgana still can't quite find her footing. Honestly, she needs to get out and make the tag. Jumping snapmare. She's got Skylar in her own corner. Uh, turning the tables here. Across the ring, corner to corner, maybe looking for tag, but it doesn't happen. These women going post to post to post. Got a tag here for Don't Kiss the Bears. Knee strike into a power slam for Marcus. Marcus showing off that strength of hers. Former bodybuilder. Showing that just blatant disrespect in the ring uh, to her opponents here. Near the ropes. Oh. Ropes. Gut buster onto the ropes. They've been looking for a tag there, but... They're kind of hoping to break free. Finally get a sister basketball. Here we are. Here we are. First tag for Hell's Bells. Double. Twisted wrist lock hold. Multiple strikes to the... to the abdominal region of Marcus. Tag to Skyler. Here we are, Skyler Bear and Sister Death. Skyler avoids the shoulder tackle. Big arm drag off the rope, so. Oh. 
stomp to the back of the arm. It seems that every time the Hell's Bell starts to build a little of momentum, Don't Kiss the Bears manage to cut them off. A successful tag team muscle here. Quick tags. Keeping the ring cut in half. It looks like Skyler Bear is ready to end this. So down into an arm bar. An arm bar. Look for a moment like Morgana might have stepped in. But she trusts her partner there. Our submission did not work the first time. Now it's starting to tear that arm apart uh, and attempt to potentially try for it again. Leap into the corner there. Unsuccessful. The pin. Just the one count. First pin attempt that we have seen today. Leg takedown. Slide into a to a double leg drop there. Interesting maneuvers. Right, from Bear. Maneuvers that I have not seen inside this ring before. Uh, very unique. Might have been a tag, but can't quite go for it. Jada throws hands at Sister Death, but can't quite reach over the ropes now. A little short on that drop kick. The uh, the legs of Skylar Bear just a little shorter uh, than any of the other competitors here. Can't quite reach. Just a grip, just lock again. Skylar in the corner. The Morgana's interference actually lets Skylar break free. Dangerous bit of business there. And once more, quick tag. Keep, don't kiss the bears with the fresh competitor in the ring. Put a hand there from Sister Death. I've been I might have been looking for perhaps a tag. Well, it doesn't appear that that is the case. Sister Death looking to end things here. Setting up for a Tombstone pile driver. Delivers. There it is. Arms crossed. And here comes the cover. Skyler. Breaking it up. Just barely. Much to the relief of, uh, of Jada Marcus there. Who continued to lie on the mat. Getting her breath back. Sounding boo from the audience here. Not a fan of Sister Death. He strolls out. How to find four on there. Really does Trying to build a little momentum here. Trying, but is cut off, unfortunately, with a double leg sweep there from Morgana. And that corner heel kick of hers, which we've seen lead to interesting things in the past. This time it only leads to eating a boot in the face. Yep. Here comes the tag, Hell's Bells. Jada Marcus nowhere to be seen. Jada Marcus potentially looking her wounds on the outside at the moment. Uh, after taking quite a beating, from Sister Death. Into the fallaway powerbomb and a cover. This could well be it. And a but kick out. Two. Skylar Bear still a fairly fresh competitor in there. As Jada has been the one taking most of the heat. This match. Big clothesline out to the outside. 
Oh, looking for a big dive. Suicide dive from Sister Death. the suicide dive only something well within the repertoire of a woman named Sister Death two three reversal death fights out reverse DDT from Sister Death ref now at a count of four These two women have no intention of getting back into the ring at the at the moment. Uh, we are at a count of six. They do Sister finally Death step back inside. But the tag made to Jada Marcus, and here she comes. Drop kick there. Drop kick there. Got it quite quick. Misses the third one. Quite connect. Heavy left there. Big chop, sending Sister Death to the mat. Sister Death looking for tag of her own. Can't quite wiggle her way out of the ring. Oh, there it is. There is the glam slam. Looking for the cover. Two broken up by Morgana. There was no movement there from Sister Death. I quite believe that that would have been the end had Skyler been there to counter Morgana's interference. As twice we've seen uh, opportunities that should have been the finish of a match broken up by a a wily teammate here on both sides. Nope. Another one of those glam slams, but Morgana out of it. Knee lift to the face. Leg Ooh, lariat. Close attention, Count Toyotathon has dropped a chair in the ring. I don't know if the ref is yet to see it or if the ref is excited it's not much of a bother. There we go. Okay, Morgana sending Marcus to the corner. Sister Death answering with a kick to the spine over there. Oh, big Russian sweep. Open four. Those snake eyes off the ropes. Take down into a single Almost leg crab. How about using a single leg on a woman as strong as Jada Marcus to leave her legs free to get out? Not quite the smartest maneuver there from Morgana. Port screw takedown. Into a scoop slam. Once again, a, a bit of disrespect shown here. Uh, the the audience wanting to get behind uh, the Bears. Oh, another glam slam there, uh, but still booing the disrespect from Marcus. Oh, oh look at that. a float over DDT, uh, stopping Sister Death in her tracks as Don't Kiss the Bears rack up a win. That was quite a maneuver there at the end. That float over DDT from Skylar Bear. Came flying across the ring. Quite a bit of energy. Well fought by both sides. The, uh, the MVP Here today. Are your winners, Jade A. Marcus and Sarah? I think uh, I think the MVP today being uh, Sister Death laying in all sorts of offense uh, against both teammates uh, just couldn't quite get Morgana on the same page. Unfortunately, uh, Morgana uh, took a bit of a bit more of a beating from Don't Kiss the Bears today uh, than I think she was intending to. Unfortunately, took the pin. Uh, incredible amount of teamwork uh, coming in from from Don't Kiss the Bears to win that match today. We're now looking at the 
uh, second round of Ring Royalty. Uh, this first match uh, of Ring Royalty on this show today uh, between Leo Craven and that guy as they move forward uh, to become the Emperor of Wrestling, uh, potentially one of these two. First of all, second round of Ring Royalty matches tonight. Making his way to the ring from St. Petersburg, Russia, weighing in at 200. Leo Craven pounds. coming off a Leo Crawford. Uh, a very impressive victory last week over the Infernal One. Those two have had some bad blood for some time now. Andy Ventura wisely booking the main uh, a ring royalty match, letting the two of them hash out two of their differences. Yep. And uh, and even with the Infernal One uh, coming in for, for a quick uh, ambush uh, at the beginning uh, of the match, uh, coming in from the crowd, uh, attacking Leo Craven before the match started, Leo still able to pull off the win, uh, showing that, that tenacity uh, that himself and the rest of the orphans have become so famous for. Uh, displayed this last Monday, uh, over on Power Slam, that tenacity as both members of the Orphans uh, tag team busted open, bleeding, uh, and still able to pull off uh, the win against Might and Magic. And his opponent from Venice Beach, California. Weighing in at 245 don't, don't, pounds. Don't tap your television Team sets. Don't God. try and change your menu settings. There's no music. There's no lights. You're not missing any video. We're just watching that guy stumble his way to the ring. As he always does with no no accoutrement. As, as he has done and is likely to continue to do uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, still has presented us with, with no music, uh, no lighting cues uh, whatsoever. And he seems to like it that way. So <clears throat> we, have, we have allowed him uh, to continue to come out. Uh, of course, it lets us hear the adulation of the fans uh, that much more. <laughs> Tuna Funk! Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you uh, for tuning in. Thank you for throwing some emotes up on our emote wall. Love to see it. Here we are. Starting off with a little display of strength there from that guy. Continuing to keep Craven in the corner. Had to be broken up by the ref. Coming in immediately with a boot to the gut. Reversed into a neck breaker. Waist lock control. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's, it's all right. Uh, we, we appreciate you guys coming in. Doesn't matter if you're late or not. Uh, all you missed was a uh, was a tag team match, a fantastic tag team match between uh, Don't Kiss the Bears and uh, Hell's Bells. You can always catch that again if you tune into our YouTube when it comes up, uh, or if you go and watch the uh, the video after the stream ends. <laughs> Stray of mat wrestling from these two. Does that float over again into a push? I don't like. Takes that guy down to the ground. Fireman's carry. Craven lays elbows into his torso. Get a little separation there. Throwing right hands. Oh. Into a uh, into a flapjack there. 
In the right hands, a flapjack can be a dangerous tool. Quinn Lynch uh, has one of the most devastating flapjacks in all of professional wrestling. The guy perhaps looking for the snaps to Plex. Craven oh, turns it into one of his own. Into a second uh, Northern Light suplex. This time Prince sticking there. around for the bridge pin. Uh, TW Tuna Funk has uh, welcomed you back. Uh, they, they missed you uh, this last weekend and Monday uh, with me being on commentary. Uh, good to, I know I've got a fan or two out there. Unfortunately, Monday nights you won't see me because I'm backstage. But uh, I'm always happy to be here Wednesdays. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> big, uh, big fist strike off of the second rope there. Powerful work from Craven here. That guy got, going to the outside now. We're going to take a breather, Leo Craven. Oh, celebrating back in. Breathing with himself, but maybe celebrating too soon. <laughs> in, a, in a surprise maneuver, hops in. Uh, big spinning kick off the second rope. Craven back to the corner. Elbow there. Gets him what he needs. Oh, looking for a stall suplex, but that guy brings his knee down into Craven's head. Series of strikes, including elbow strikes there. And forearms. Powerful area. Back and forth there with these two. The, the elbow stomp. Uh, that's right, Alien Lee. <laughs> we do. <laughs> IHOP also has some very devastating flapjacks. And now pin from that. But again, one. <laughs> Alien Lee, who does that guy remind you of? Moonsault from the top to One, a standing target two, into a three, three, three count. Craven moves into the overdrive unlimited finals for Ring Road. He will face the winner of today's other Ring Road match, which you will see later on in this show. Two of them will fight next week for the right to face the winner of William Wolf and Honey Badger, who will fight on Power Slam this Monday for the uh, the right to be the Power Slam entrant in the Ring World Cup Finals in, uh, in just one and a half weeks, Sunday, September 26th, at uh, Ring World in the Triple View on Sunday night. Well done, young man, well done. Take your time to celebrate. The orphans here having uh, quite a streak. Craven winning last week and this week. The, the tag team winning on Monday night. Right. Uh, hey, quite, a, quite a streak the orphans are on right now. Uh, you could see them becoming the preeminent uh, group here at Power Overdrive Wrestling. As uh, as Leo Craven uh, moves one step closer to becoming the Emperor of Wrestling. Um, so that means next week he's going to be going into the semifinals. Um, next week we'll be having semifinals on both Power Slam and Overdrive Wrestling. Uh, sorry, Overdrive Unlimited. Um, and then, as TW was saying, uh, following Sunday, the 26th of September, we will be having uh, the free preview Ring Royalty, which will feature the final matches for both the Emperor and Empress of Wrestling, as well as a slew uh, of other matches. Uh, 
Speaking of ring royalty, uh, we got Cherry Blossom and Diamond Firestone uh, can have continued on to the second round here, uh, moving forward. So... <laughs> that guy reminds you of, of Aaron from Game Grumps. I, I'm somewhat familiar with, with Game Grumps. Uh, I can I can see it now that you there you say that. Entering the ring, uh, accompanied by Father Ron, here to make sure that that a member of the ministry makes their way uh, forward in this tournament. to see uh, Diamond Firestone has uh, made her way here uh, from, the, from the first round into the second. Uh, a, a strong competitor, a fierce competitor, someone who has not had a, uh, a lot of momentum being able to be built around her uh, since her debut here at Power Overdrive Wrestling. Uh, potentially that could change tonight. Uh, if she's able to get the win over the Ministry, uh, she will be moving on to the semifinals of this tournament um, and potentially being crowned Empress of Wrestling could mean very big things uh, for the Transylvanian. I'm honestly more proud of the fact that she, along with Scarlet Blade, has gotten rid of that somehow gravity-defying cape they both wore. It was a bit of an ice horror, if you ask me. A bit, a bit, yes. Yeah. You, are, you are not wrong. <laughs> A little easier to see as they make their way to the ring. Anyway, it's been all Cherry Blossom here to start. Father on the doubt of this smiling. Gold filled gap tooths grin of his. <clears throat> uh, aggressive start here, of course, yeah, by by Cherry. Uh, being being fueled on uh, by 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 the good father Ron. I wouldn't go so far as to call his grin gap tooth, though. Gold filled, yes, of course. Kick there, doesn't connect from Cherry Blossom. Firestone seizes on the mistake. I think you might be mistaking uh, his grin for uh, Bubba Truckers, who is, of course, gap filled. Showing the glory uh, of Father Ron in those gaps. Honestly, just assume both of them. Got two. Been here, diamond, but only one. Single count. How to run unimpressed in Cherry's corner. Big chop from Diamond. Going to a splash there. Misses the kick as Cherry rolls out of the way. Going back to work on the face of Diamond. 
There she is, the POW special Father Rollins net crank. Taught ex explicitly to each of his followers. Not even a single count there, Cherry. Over to the gut there, and Diamond takes back over. Drop kick to the back. But Terry catches the right hand. Spinning knuckle off the rope of another backbuster there. Big knee to the gut. And Diamond. It takes a moment to revel in the crowd's booze. We are under cover one, but only one. Here, it's still only one. Another single count. Lots of one counts here. Many pen attempts. Between these ladies. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Clinching there, the Hurricane Rana. Probably more than the thought of what Bud might do to the ministry oh. directly. Top rope. Head scissor slam here. Cherry, oh. back up on her feet quickly. Yeah, Diamond distracted by Father Ron. Giving Cherry the, the opportunity uh, to take advantage. And some clotheslines, a drop kick here. She's got some energy going now. Oh, and here it is. Nope. Oh, reverse. Oh, yeah, that, that side slam leg sweep we've seen multiple times in matches. Today, we get a chance to land it instead. Since Diamond outside, Spanish announced team clearing the way, never knowing what sort of violence could come their way uh, as the competitors come outside of the ring. Catches the kick and an elbow to the knee there. Uh, Hurricane Rana to the outside. It's her big right hand. Referee now at a count of five. Another woman making a move to get back to the ring. Oh, knee lift from Firestone there. Diamond cutting off Cherry there as she rushed her in the corner, picking her up. You see the Diamond the Cutter. Ropes. Let's see. Oh, there it is! Diamond there Cutter! This could be the end for Cherry. Only a two oh. count off of the Diamond Cutter. The devastating Diamond Cutter. Only able to put uh, a member of the Faithful Ministry down for a two count. far away from Father Ron as she possibly can. <laughs> 
two count off a series of turnbuckle slams. See another diamond cut, perhaps. Something looks like she's going for oh. Yep, here we are. See Into if, a second. See if two are enough to keep Cherry down. Two, three, there we are. Diamond Firestone is one her way past Cherry Blossom. Not want to be Diamond facing the wrath of Father Brown. Would not want to be Chair Blossom facing the wrath of Father Ron either. I was going to say, I don't think Diamond's going to be facing the wrath of Father Ron. I maybe, think they maybe, both may, maybe see his ire, but uh, but won't be facing anything directly. Here is your winner. Congratulations, Diamond, on uh, continuing this winning streak. Uh, good to see her getting uh, a little bit of momentum going here in the company. Uh, as someone who I've always had uh, high prospects on, congratulations. Uh, shame to see the ministry uh, taken down the peg, uh, but you know, they will only come back stronger uh, in the long run. Got one more match for you guys coming up before we go on a short break. Um, <clears throat> one more of our ring royalty uh, matches. Uh, this time between uh, the flying sensation Bill Oxley uh, going up against Ricardo Menor, uh, the the Cuban uh, monster. Um, we're still unsure whether that is face paint or not. Still in question. At this point, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, a fierce competitor uh, in the ring. Uh, Bill Oxley, of course, uh, having a bit of a back and forth with Quentin Lynch these last couple weeks. Uh, proved that uh, he was the better competitor last week against Quentin Lynch, being able to earn himself a spot into the second round of Ring Royalty. Making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 198 pounds, Bill Buffalo Wild Wings as Ricardo steps onto the ramp. Also, uh, and I feel that like some of these players coming from the practice might well be. Well be. Well I don't know this for sure. It I might be Ricardo Menor. First Buffalo Wild Wings from putting us outside that whole spit tape that he does every time he enters the ring. That's that just is, a rumor going around. That is possible. Uh, would not surprise me if that was <laughs> the reason. Uh, very unsanitary around all the uh, the wings in there. Looks like we have a bot that has decided to to visit us here in the chat. Either that or someone who decided they wanted to come advertise. That's, uh, yeah, and then they popped right back out. Yeah, great. Thanks for popping in, and 
sending us an advertisement and popping right out. We will be blocking you very much. to the action though, uh, Ricardo Menor uh, cutting quite the silhouette uh, in our ring here. Perhaps the resounding boos at uh, TW are based on the fact that he has gotten us kicked out potentially of the Buffalo Wild Wings and put us on the outside those here in the audience who want to watch the wrestling not able to step inside and enjoy those delicious, delicious buffalo wings. Well, there's a lack of air conditioning out here. A little rough in the Tampa heat. Uh, of course, it could also be from crowd members who are displeased with the fact that he has perhaps a longer entrance than Johnny Mercury. Who knows? It's hard to say, hard to say. Uh, he does have a long entrance. Uh, we'd have to see them back to back, side by side, potentially, to, uh, to determine who has the longer entrance. Uh, you did, of course, uh, decide that Johnny needed to shorten his entrance. Um, which... you no, know, they decided to fill it with pyrotechnics. He and I are going to have words on that front as well. How much, uh, how much of my budget is he spending on pyro these days? A little too much for my taste. A little too much for your case as well. Kneeling DDT from Oxley there. Oxley here. More, more luck than Menor's opponent last week, Logan Love. Big tackle. In right hands. Remin right down on me. Reminiscent of the uh, babyest brother of the ministry there. With the tackling and just going at it with the hands. There is a match that would be worth worth seeing sometime down the line. Bill Oxley and Diddle would have to find themselves at a uh, a rare a rare crossover match. Now that we've separated, not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, big boot from Ricardo, stalking his prey. Going for a dragon sleeper hold into a side slam. Goes for the pin. Actually not done yet. Only one kick though. Misses the kick. Oxley taking advantage. Into a reverse neck breaker. Looking for a headbutt perhaps, but he meets only an elbow to the face. Big belly to back. Suplex from Menor. Sets him up for a power bomb. Oh, picks him up for a second one. And deadlifts him for a third. Goes for the pin. A little close to the ropes, perhaps. Still with a double takedown there. And a traditional wrestling takedown from, from Oxley. Waves to the crowd. And spills Menor out onto the outside. Of course, this is Overdrive Unlimited. We do have soft padding. Uh, to cover up the concrete out there. Uh, if this were over on your show, Power Slam TW, of course, we replaced the outside uh, with metal siding, of course. Uh, uh, much more dangerous to be on the outside there. What I'm going to say is who needs, who needs padding for the concrete? Well, the concrete will add a little uh, 
A little danger to taking the things outside. I hate matches that finish on the outside. Well, a neck break into a Russian sweep there. I'll do my best to disincentivize that. Of course, of course. Uh, so well, well noted. Uh, what what you've done with with the place over there? Big drop kick off the ropes there from Huxley. So now building some momentum here. It's still faring better than Logan Love. Well, turning his back on Oxley a little too soon. Standing shooting star press. Shooting that star. could be it. Into the cover. Only a two count. Two. Oxley can't quite believe it. Oh, Alien Lee, you want to see someone smashed into the LED screen? Oh, in the 630. 630 Centon. That is a win for Bill Oxley. Bill Oxley taking down Ricardo Menor. Next week, we'll see Bill Oxley and Leo Craven. At the Open Drive Limited Finals of Ring Royal. All right. That, is, that should be, that is going to be a match for, that has been in the making a long time. A couple of high flyers. Uh, and then on the other side, uh, you've got either the Honey Badger uh, or William Wolf. So the the end game here for Ring Royalty is going to be a high flyer versus a powerhouse. It looks like the Honey Badger had a good uh, good showing this past week against Johnny Mercury, claiming a. a Underdog victory there. Here is your winner, Bill. I would not, uh, would not bet against him. Come, uh, come this Monday against William Wolf. No, I, I would not bet against him either. He has taken down one monster. It looks like he's got another one in his sights. Um, could be outshining Cannonball Vegas as far as monster hunters go. If he continues up this trend. Uh, no, Alien Lee, I understand Craving Chaos. Uh, those LED screens, though, they're not cheap. <laughs> and while there is a dense amount of plexiglass on there to protect the electronics, that's not something that, uh, that I want necessarily to have, to have to replace either. Fair point, fair point. All right, congratulations to Bill Oxley on his big win there uh, over the monster uh, Ricardo Manor. Um, to a, a powerful competitor, uh, defeated today by a high flyer. The quick moves, the dexterity, uh, just too much for him today, uh, as well as that brutal uh, 630 centon. All right, folks, we are going to take a short break. Uh, it is five minutes till five. Uh, that means we're right about at the hour mark. We will see you at five o'clock uh, for the rest of the show. Until then, uh, stay hyped. We got two more, no, one more uh, ring royalty match, a tag team match coming up, which is going to be uh, an interesting one, something that we've not seen here before, uh, this particular pairing. Um, things that you're not going to want to miss. Uh, we will be right back.
right, we are just about at the five o'clock mark. Five o'clock on the clock right now. Uh, it is time for us to begin the last half of the show. We're already we've packed some good things here into the back half of the show. Final match of the second round of Ring Royalty now. Uh, one of the longest uh, running competitors that we've had here, Florence Thunder, uh, going up against a crowd favorite today, Vela Rose. Uh, should, be, should be a good competition. Uh, both of these competitors worthy uh, of wearing a crown. We will see uh, which one of them steps up uh, today uh, to step forward into the uh, third round into the semifinals next week. into the Power Overdrive Wrestling Arena. Hard to read the face of, uh, of the former champion as she has taken to wearing that protective face mask as she enters. Is it intimidation? Is it fashion? Is it both? Who knows? But it looks damn good, champ. The match has always been a hard woman to read. I've watched her fight since her days in MMA. She's, uh, she's always been a blank slate, never letting a competitor see anything in her face, in her eyes, that might give them an advantage. I mean, I think she does to her advantage. Something that she's continued here at POW. Of course, her opponent, someone who sometimes wears her, uh, her emotions on her sleeve. Uh, and her opponent. Sometimes being in a, a range of emotions there as she comes down. Uh, starting off you know, usually fairly stern, but by the time she makes it to the ring, usually smiling at some of some of the audience. Not a, not afraid to show how she's feeling in the moment. Uh, very very different demeanors here in, in performers. Uh, very different fighting style. Florence uh, being one who, who appreciates a, uh, a good technical submission, uh, going for the arms, joint manipulation, and then Vela just trying to overpower uh, her opponents most of the time. She is someone who succeeds in that. Vela Rose has been a, a huge addition to this POW roster since her, uh, since her debut. She's always been in the thick of the title hunt. Rarely loses a match, and even then, it's rarely involved in the finish. She's almost certainly the favorite here today as we get into this match. She takes control early. Vela won to very, very infrequently uh, take a pin. Continues to stomp the lower back. 
and, and hamstring uh, of Florence there. Florence now going after the, the midsection with, with knee lifts. And going after that arm early. Not quite the cross arm bar there, but an arm submission move. Uh, stretching that shoulder out. Alien Lee, we do appreciate that you do give some love to Florence, but yes, we, we also understand that Vela is your wife. Though, it seems at this point most of the women's roster is also your wife, so it's hard to, hard to tell who you're going to be rooting for in a match. Oh, big hip toss for Florence. Ooh, you know what I'm up up there? Florence has been, been rolling here for this, uh, the next couple of moments. There we are. Knee into the corner. Chest stomp. she can find to have control over this match knowing that every bit of damage she can do to Vela will maybe make uh, a difference in the end. Big snap suplex there. Into a cover. One, but only one. Well, that's something to keep an eye on. You know, all, all the damage that Florence has done, all of the brutality that she's visited upon Vela in the last few minutes, she's still only got a one count. Vela is nothing if not uh, resilient. Uh, she's also incredibly strong. Maybe softening it up. Seems or at to least be... attempting to soften it up. Yeah, she, she is resilient, but Florence continues to work those arms over. Resilience can only hold up for so long. Oh, goes into a big standing hurricanrana. Showing some athleticism there. Showing she's more than just power. Face stomp. Nope, going once more into an arm. Rolls out. You don't have it there, but. Up over the face and clears a little distance between the two. Another one of those powerful hip tosses from Florence. Vela into the corner. Oh, goes for the, the knee or the boot. Gets caught. Big falling clothesline. Going for a submission hold of her own. The old POW special. Maybe a bit winded here. Something we've rarely seen on her. Need to roll out of it. Turnbuckle smash there. Uh oh. Kick to the gut. Looks like Good the baby's setting up. Oh. Nope. Power bomb. Probably might see oh, the power bomb. Turnbuckle. Goes for cover here. Putting herself between Florence and the ropes. Smart maneuver there, but only one count. Oh, big power slam off the ropes. Jawbreaker here from Thunder. Uh-oh. That corkscrew side slam. Potentially, oh. kicking out. 
Florence uh, may still have to rely on, on those arm bars onto a, a submission to, to finish this off. Oh! oh goes for the arm. Vela cutting her off. First into a snapmare. Shoulder tackle. Give him a chance to catch her breath. Not much of one. Jawbreaker there from Rose. Florence ducks the clothesline. He's coming in. A series of clotheslines. Ducks one from Vela. Big flying one. Nope. There we go. Has it, has it locked in? This could be a tap out. We see how much damage has been done to this arm so far. A tap from Vela Rose. Lawrence Thunder is moving on. Vela Rose taps to the armbar. Vela Rose has never once tapped here at POW. There's been no submission hold strong enough to hold her until now. I said there have been very few people who have not tapped out uh, to the cross armbar of Florence Thunder once it's been locked in. The champion takes another step closer to winning the title back. Florence may well be seeing some, some residual damage uh, from that turnbuckle bomb uh, that, that she received. Uh, something that has been winner, notorious uh, for, for causing long-lasting injuries in, in performers. But for, she had to celebrate her next match. She can wait until next week to worry about. It'll be a match we're well familiar with here in POW. One of the very first women's matches we ever saw. Florence Thunder and Diamond Firestone. In the semifinals of Ring Road. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, it'll be a, a nice little throwback match. You know, all right, and now for the main event today, a match that we've been talking up a little bit here today. The Ministry, Father Ron and Bubba Trucker uh, coming up against Scraps O'Leary and Logan Love. Uh, two men who have uh, both held the Twitch Pal World Championship. It's not true. Oh, actually, that is that is not true. Logan Love has held it. Scraps never actually had an opportunity uh, to hold that belt. Uh, each each person in this match has held championship gold before. That they have. That's right. Three of the four of them tag team gold, one of them the world title, meaning they are all eligible for, what is it you call that title? The, the uh, Mjolnir title. The Mjolnir title, absolutely. Um... This, uh, what we're looking at here is the Mjolnir division. Uh, these four men uh, all have uh, have held uh, championship gold and are therefore worthy uh, to try and pick up uh, the Mjolnir belt. Today, the, uh, the title is not on the line, so the champion is in this match. This is simply a, a tornado tag match uh, featuring these four men. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 533 pounds, Bubba Tucker! The only two times on this show, that means the Cosmic Division Championship, currently held by 0-8. Uh, it's in my understanding that there may be plans to change that. I'm not quite privy to the details. Uh, I think Andy's got uh, some ideas up their sleeve about uh, introducing the 
potential uh, other uh, titles to this show. As I know yep. you do. Uh, I, over, I think uh, they Power Slam. They did. I know I do. One that might might be introduced uh, at an upcoming event. I might, I might wait for a little bit. First, see what happens here. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in. There he is, the man of the people, entering back in through the, the audience once again. Undisputed champion, Travis O. Lee Boy. Beautiful belt, well on display. Everyone to see. Due to the chance nature of the draft, he's separated from his brothers and crew, who can be seen Monday nights on Power Slam. Uh, still has ever solidarity. Yes, they only it, would, it seemed that someone here at Buffalo Wild Wings forgot to render that staircase that Scraps was walking down. It did look as though he was walking <laughs> over everyone. <laughs> I swear, demons, whip, undead monsters, vampires, and it's just a little bit of clubbing about it. Oh, and here we are, the one and only himself. The love machine. Since time, a uh, man still here from the 90s. Uh, the high flyer, Logan Love, the ladies' man. Three champion. Very brief reign of, uh, of only three days. Still able to hold championship gold and earn him a, a spot here in the Mjolnir division. Giving him a potential shot at becoming the undisputed champion of Midgard. We'll see how he and Scraps are able to, to fare together here today. Uh, again, this, tag match. again, this is a tornado tag match, which means everyone is legal all the time, as long as they are inside of the ring. Uh, still, uh, still, pinfalls must happen within the ring. There are no counters. Uh, 
finding his oh, next follower. Perhaps O'Leary would even take Father on down. Might have been a flying close on it, didn't quite catch it. Well, Bubba Trucker deciding that he's going to take uh, his part of the fight outside, uh, leaving Scraps and Father Ron on the inside uh, to deal with each other. I break of it from Scraps O'Leary, perhaps uh, a little left over from his time tag teaming with Johnny Mercury. Big double hand chop from Father Ron. Strike after strike on the scraps. For a backbreaker on the barricade, fought out by scraps. He's had Bubba Chucker taking it to Logan Love. Elbows to the side of the neck here. up scraps trucker taking a moment to breathe slamming here slamming him Ooh. into the oh, post yeah. on the outside you want to talk about damaging those leds there you are alien lee uh not the big led on the outside but the leds on the ring post uh, someone slammed into uh your wish has been granted at least to some degree a mess of scraps out there at the moment. down towards Father Ron and, and Scraps there. Scraps oh, the stretching, stretching the legs, the quadriceps there of uh, Father Ron on the outside. Father Ron being able to push himself through, flipping Scraps off of his legs. Into another swinging neck breaker to the outside. Attempt here broken up by Scraps uh, protecting his partner and taking a standing back reverse back suplex from by the trucker for his troubles. One, two, but there's Scraps just in time. Bringing up a second pin attempt. Himself. Now, Trucker getting started here with a pin. Scraps breaking it up on the one count. Big right hand from O'Leary. O'Leary, the only man standing in the match. I think it's frustration out on, uh, on the arm and shoulder of Bubba Trucker there. Looks like he's ready to call it, but Father Ron going to have none of it. So he's laying right hands into Scraps. Scraps picking up the big man, setting up for a big Samoan drop. Now setting his sights on Father Ron himself, who could be seeing a spear! Spear from Scraps O'Leary. Goes for the cover on the big man. Oh, Logan, not quite fast enough to keep Bubba Trucker from breaking up the pin. series of, of clotheslines now to Bubba. 
hip crank there from Father Rubio. We could be seeing a Superman punch here. He's got the setup. There it is. Plus, Superman open punch. Bubba Trucker with Bubba a Trucker powerful Superman move. punch. Follows like through, taking out Bubba both Trucker members of the ministry. Of the Escaping any possible pin attempt there from Scrap Show Larry. Be seeing another big suicide dive. Scraps on the outside, laying out Bubba Trucker. Uh, hopefully taking him out for a good long while, giving Logan a possibility of finally pinning uh, the He's good father. No, nope, he doesn't go for it. Scraps doesn't even have to come in to break it up. Shoulder tackle, father on. And O'Leary and Love claim the ring. Right back to action against Bubba Trucker. Inverted power slam. Standing shooting stars press from Logan Love. Picks up the big man, going for side slam neck breaker. Uh -oh. Finding his way back to the top oh, the of the, zone. the ropes. Will we see it? His own 630. Another 630 we've seen. The fabled 630 breaks oh. up the pin attempt oh. there. Bubba Trucker. His tornado tags, always wild. Teammates, of course, have to coordinate. Superman punch Super there. Now Logan can keep Bubba Trucker occupied. Scraps may be able to finish this. Well, let Father Ron to his feet. The ministry's back in control. Oops, spear. Here, Father Ron goes for the pin attempt. And the there one, two, three. Scraps O'Leary and Logan Love have claimed victory today against the Ministry. Looks like with uh, brute force and a little bit of coordinated teamwork, uh, they were able to put uh, Father Ron down to the three count. Uh, not often has Father Ron taken the pin here at Power Overdrive Wrestling. Uh, one of the few times, and today it was against uh, one of the most powerful competitors and the Mjolnir here champion himself, winners, the champion Travis of Midgard. Boy, and the ladies man, Logan so you cannot say that it was not a worthy competitor uh, to put Father Ron down for the count. Looks like this partnership certainly is off to a better start than it's one with Johnny Mercury. Logan Love just covered in blood all over his forehead, dripping past his eyes down to the rest of his face. Sporting a little extra red. A, a beautiful crimson mask there. Now this may have been uh, the last of our matches today, but we still do have one more item on the docket. Before the show is over. Uh, someone wanted to come out and have a few words with the Power Overdrive audience. Uh, with the universe, as it were. Um, and that person, of course, none other than the favored daughter of Dr. Yao. She is currently making her way to the ring. Uh, none other than the mistress of the cosmos herself, Zero Eight, um, has an announcement, uh, it would seem. And looks as though, as though 
she is ready and on her way. We never heard zero eight. We always been uh, Dr. Yao speaking for her. I'll be quite interested to hear what she has to say. Very excited uh, to be back in, in the ring. So, first, I would like to say to you all, mm, Guten Tag, yeah? Yeah, hello, I'm Zero Eight. Um, yeah, this is Papa's voice. I know, I know. You are saying, what is this going on here? This is um, stupid, yeah? But nine, Papa programmed us. Mm. Also- Program me with this voice because it was very simple to him. It is oh the only voice God, that's actually. She uses huh? Yao's so, voice. So this is my voice uh, uh, as well as Papa's voice. So, so what I would like to say is something very important. I'm very proud to be the mistress of the cosmos, yeah? Um, that title is something that is wonderful. But I have no challenger ever since I've been this. So it's not like there's something royalty, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's taking too long. I want to fight! Yeah? This is fighting is fun. This is why I come here. I want to be the wrestler. So if there's anyone who would like to fight, please. Please, I would like I would like to do the fighting. Of course. So, yeah. it's, it's, been a, it's been a little time before since anybody has a uh, has been able to, to to face her in the ring. And it looks as though that is Diamond Firestone's music. It looks as though this challenge uh, to to meet the wrestling robot in the ring is being answered by none other than Firestone. Diamond Firestone, uh, who has been racking up the wins as of late, thinks that she might have what it takes to face 08. One on one. So, what's the fact that she's doing the semifinals of Ring World next month, or next week as well? To come out here and and you think that that what you you're going to ask just anyone in the locker room to to come out yeah hmm yeah hmm no you you and I are going to have have match in future ta. so this of course always a chance that we will have a match I'm so excited you're out here um but unfortunately um. So you're in the ring royalty, uh, and um, you have to win that for the title opportunity. If you had been eliminated from the ring royalty, maybe that would have been a chance, but just my hands, they are, they are cuffed, yeah? Huh? Yes, but, but you see, as I am going to win the ring royalty, you will be facing me, as I will be the empress of wrestling. And I will be right in line for your belt. Oh no, this, this I am okay with. If you win the ring royalty, in fact, I hope you win the ring royalty. That sounds excellent. I will be rooting for you the whole way, huh? It is you and Florence Thunder and she was an okay champion, but you, you will be much more fun of it. I am rooting for you all the way down. Okay, well, it's good to know that I have a fan you know, going forward, you know. I have all these people out here rooting for me, but it's good to know that the champion herself, the mistress of the cosmos, is my biggest fan, yeah. It's good to know, because one day, I am going to be the mistress, yeah. So, that may well happen. And um, when that day comes, I will, I will wish you all the best, but remember, that um so now that is me uh and i do not plan on losing this anytime soon so your sunday may may be a lot um further away than you like yeah uh i am more than happy to have a match with you should you win so yeah that sounds really cool well, i don't really care uh what your opinion is uh because when it comes down to it you are just a bag of bolts right you are scrap thrown together by a crazy scientist. And I am a flesh and blood woman. 
It's just that's, that's what I mean. We all not are we are not all created by parents, yeah. We all have a creator out there of our own. Two of them, a mother and a father, uh, or, or whatever it, whatever you have. So always. So I, I don't understand why. The, I, here's my yeah. You, you are very mean, and I don't like you. What it comes down to is. You and I are going to be in this ring, one way or another, together. You against me, and in the end, you are going back to the scrap heap. And maybe if you're lucky, Papa will put you back together. Strong first there from Diamond Firestone, zero eight. Seemed at kind of a loss. Strong words there uh, from Diamond Firestone. First time we've ever actually seen her uh, come out and speak to anyone. Uh, had some strong words, uh, some robophobic words there against our uh, our reigning mistress of the cosmos. Um, not sure if the crowd is going to be behind her much longer uh, with those kind of words, but there's also going always going to be a sect out there that uh, that backs uh, and rewards that kind of speech. Um, but with that, uh, we come to the end of today's episode of Overdrive Unlimited. Uh, an open challenge has been answered. Uh, looks like Diamond Firestone, whether she wins uh, the Ring Royalty Tournament or not, will be down the line facing the Mistress of the Cosmos, Zero Eight. Um, and who knows what is going to happen uh, from, from this point until then. It could be a long road coming. It could be something happening immediately. Um, but with that said, um, thank you all for coming out today. We appreciate uh, you guys giving us a follow. If you're on YouTube, giving us a like, subscribe. Uh, that all goes a long way to show us uh, the appreciation that we know that you feel in your heart. Oh, we do this for fun, uh, but it's always nice to have an audience. Uh, makes this just a hundred times more fun. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, we will be doing two more episodes next week. Uh, we'll probably have a house show on the weekend. And then next Sunday, uh, we will be having uh, our next free preview, the Ring Royalty uh, free preview, in which we will crown a emperor and empress of wrestling, as well as have a slew of other matches. Until then, uh, this is a big goodbye from me, Eric Powers. And myself, T.W. Remember, have a wonderful afternoon out there, and we'll see you on Monday night for Power Slam. That's right. And until next time, stay powerful.